All right, this is part two. Yeah. This is part two. Yeah, my phone goes for a good hour and like 30 minutes now on average. Around there, right? Yeah, an hour and 30. I said an hour and 40. No, an hour and 30. 31, 32 minutes, whatever it is. <laughs> It doesn't go on for long. It doesn't go long anymore. I don't know what's going on here. Remember when it used to go? I had like, like four thirty minute parts. Yeah, I don't. I can't do four thirty minute parts anymore. Right now, I have forty nine minutes left on my phone. It says. That's my phone. I have. Yeah, those are the stuff I want to do with VJ. I have a buckle list, obviously. Ivan, if you did not say VJ, would you do would you do those things with with, with, with with those other women? I would do some of the things with them, but not all the things I want to do with VJ, obviously. Because they're not special like her. VJ is my wife, man. Well, they're not my wife, and they're not meant for me, so I'm sorry. I would do some some good stuff with them, obviously, but not like I have a bucket list I want to do with VJ, obviously. I'm drinking peach tea, it's fucking amazing. I recommend you guys try out herbal tea. H-E-R-B-A-L, herbal tea, it's fucking amazing. They have all these flavors, peach, um, strawberry, it's fucking amazing, man. I'd like you guys care, I recommend you guys check it out, though. Try it out, it's fucking good. Obviously. But don't drink it, don't drink it with, with milk, drink it with, like, lemon. Mix it with lemon and, like, some sweetener, it's fucking amazing. Tastes like candy, it's fucking good, man. It's amazing tea. I'm drinking herbal tea right now. Trust me, this Friday, if when I get my check, you're going to see how happy I am when I make that video. Because I now know I have money. <laughs> so I'm going to be excited. I make the video and then I, I upload it and I go to the store. I cash my check. I go to the store. I get my my 12 beers. I get my pack of smokes, obviously. And then, and then when I come home, I enjoy the show after you guys. And I watch uh, Rad Brad's Resident Evil walkthrough. And after I watch Rabbit's Resident Evil walkthrough, I will, I will be done on my six beers. And then it's around 10 o'clock. I sleep. I rest for a good, like, maybe hour and a half in my bed. Till 12. Or I, I might listen to music, maybe. Till 12. And at 12 o'clock, I go to the store and I, I, I go to Bob's and I get my slices. At Bob's. And I come back home and I have six beers ready. I have my leftover smokes and I watch Avatar 2. For like three, three hours and 20 minutes, yeah. So that's the stuff I want to do with VG Odyssey. Go clothes shopping. Um, go clothes shopping with VJ. Um, we're going to go on a clothes shopping spree. Me and VJ are probably going to blow like, I don't know, 100, 200, 300k on clothes. That's something crazy. <laughs> Like a big clothes shopping spree we're going to go on. And it's okay. I want to do the yacht party with you. I want to do the yacht party with you, VJ. Just me and you in the yacht. The condo party with me and you in the condo. Just me and you in the condo. Go clothes shopping. with Go clothes shopping in the mall. And the, the best clothing stores in Vancouver. We're going to check them all out. The malls usually have the best clothes. We're going to go to the Pacific Center. We're going to buy a bunch of clothes from those, and shoes from, from the Pacific Center. VJ goes to this makeup place, she buys her makeup. I buy my shoes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Every day, me and VJ are going to, hey, VJ, how long do you want to go shopping? I don't know. We can go shopping for maybe like one week, two weeks straight. Every day we go to, 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 to what? To the, to, to the Pacific Center. We go to all these different stores and we just buy a bunch of clothes, man. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> and we'll hire limo services for, for us. Hey, VJ, we'll not get our cars until the condo's built. I don't want to waste money. Let's, we can hire a driver or a limo. Ivan, let's hire a limo service. Okay, we hire a limo service to drive me and VJ around wherever we go. Yeah, I need, I need 24, 24, 7 limo service. Yeah, you know, Ivan, that's going to, that's going to cost you like a thousand bucks a day. Yeah, we need to afford it. It's pocket change if you have, what, I don't know, 12 million in your bank. It's fucking pocket change. Chump change. So if me and VJ go shopping for two weeks straight, and it's a thousand bucks a day for a limo service. Obviously, we, it only cost me VJ fourteen thousand dollars. That's chump change. <laughs> That's how rich VJ are gonna be. Yeah, 
You're going to see everyone in the mall taking pictures. Me and VJ are trying out. Look at all. I've been sh clothes shopping with VJ. I buy my nice toques. VJ buys her toques. She buys her hats. She buys her boots. She buys her shoes. Her shoes, obviously. She buys like a bunch of shoes. Yeah, I, mean, I want this. I want this. I want this. Every day we have like a big stack of, uh, we have a big stack of a what? Of clothes in our hands, obviously. And we're going shopping, obviously. Look at I and VJ going shopping. They're getting all the nice stuff. And you're finally going to see Ivan Amara looking fly, man. With his wife. Finally, Ivan has nice clothes. My whole life I've been wearing shitty clothes. I have a few nice clothes here and there. Because my stuff families are cheap, obviously. And they hate me, obviously. They always buy me cheap shit, obviously. Whereas now I'm with VJ, I can get my nice, my nice clothes. He's like, finally, Ivan, it's about time you, 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 you have a nice pair of clothes for yourself, Ivan. Yeah. He, we just do our clothes shopping in Vancouver, yeah. We do our clothes shopping in Vancouver, obviously. I'll get like 30 pair of shoes. And I'll get like 40, 40 to 50, 40 pair of pants and like 40, 45, 50 pair of shirts. That's enough for me. T-shirts, long shirts, sweaters, that's all. You get like 50 of those. And I'll get a few outfits too, obviously. Maybe eight outfits, maybe. You know, if they're selling an outfit, I'll buy it with some outfits in these stores. Obviously. But by then, I'll probably be about 250 pounds. So I'm, I, I'm going to get, I have to get clothes that fit me, obviously. So once I lose the weight, I'm going to, I'm going to go, I'm going to have to read, I have, I'm going to have to buy a new set of clothes. Because these older clothes are not really, they're, they're, they're not, they don't, they're not really big for me because I lost weight. So I now have to get a whole new set of clothes when I lose the weight. Which I'll do, obviously. I'll, I'll buy a whole new set of clothes. Like, VJ, 30 pair of shoes is enough. 30, 35 pair of shoes is enough, VJ. I know you're, you're obsessed with that stuff. 35 pair of shoes is enough. You don't have, I don't want you getting, like, 100 shoes, man. How are you wasting money, man? Don't waste money like Beebs and the Kardashians, VJ. 30, 35 pair of shoes is enough. You don't want to waste money like these celebrities, man. Wear these shoes for a good three, four year, three years, and you can get new ones. After the Zanes project, we'll buy new pairs of shoes. You don't want to waste money, BJ. Oh, I mean, yeah, I'll get like 14 pair of jackets. That's enough. Don't get like 100 jackets. You're wasting money. 14, 15 pair of jackets is enough, and you don't need any more jackets. I'll get like six fall jackets, six winter jackets. Or like 10 winter jackets. 10 winter jackets. Five fall jackets. We go out when we go out all the time. We we, we, we switch jackets back and forth. Yeah, Sarah. You're gonna see Vita. She has a smile on her face. She's all happy because she she knows she has an unlimited bag out with me, and she can get whatever I I can get whatever clothes I want. Man, I don't have to worry about the clothes. Yeah, this outfit is two thousand dollars. Easy afford it. These shoes are eight hundred dollars. Vita can easy afford it. It's all pocket change, obviously. But I'm, me and her are gonna be getting high end like clothing, man. High end expensive clothing. Because the mall has all the best clothing stores. But they're very expensive. But if you're a billionaire, you can easily afford it. And you're going to see me and VJ trending in the mall, obviously. I will not buy the suits until, we st until we're about to start work. So once we're about to start work, me and VJ can now go shopping for our suits. I'll get a good, like, 15 pair of suits. That's enough. 15 pair of suits for myself. So I'm not going to get, like, 40. You're wasting money. Get, get 15, and I'll wear the 15 for a couple years. And for the greatest hip, I'll buy maybe six, seven more pairs. No way, I don't waste money, said Sarah. Six, seven, eight more pairs of suits. VJ, please, like 15 pairs of suits is enough. You're not, if you want to get 20, 20, 20 is even pretty good. But anything over 20, VJ, you're, 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 you're going to waste money. I don't want you wasting money. Okay, fine, Ivan. Yeah, I'll get like 15, 15 pairs of suits, 20 pairs of suits. 15 to 20 pairs, 20 pairs of suits. And I'll get like maybe eight suit, suit shoes. That's in the six suit shoes. That's enough that I'll wear. It's enough. I'm not going to get like 20, 100 suit shoes. You're wasting money. Six pairs of suit, suit shoes is enough. You can get your nice suit shoes for work, VJ. VJ gets this nice like suit outfit. You know um, the, the way of uh, the... Um, you know flight attendants that like, cause you? Yeah, I guarantee VJ is going to wear or buy some suits like that. So it's boss. I'm going to get myself shades for myself. I'll get a good 10 pair of shades. High end, like two, three hundred dollars shades I'll get. Me and Vijay, we go to this, we go to this, this, the glasses store, we get the best shades, like $200 shades, all pocket changes, man, yeah, man. Me and Vijay are going to spend like probably 100, 200, 300 keon clothes. Because it's, we're billionaires, it's, it's pocket change. 
I'm boosting, which is more money for the clothing stores, obviously, yeah. We do get our purses. I'll get my wallet. I'll get like three wallets, three nice high end luxury wallets. VJ can get her purses. Okay, VJ, 10 purses is enough. Do not get like 50 purses. 10 purses, 8 purses is enough, man. Like, you use it for a couple years and you get new ones. That way we don't waste money, is what I'm saying. You can get your lipsticks, but don't get like 100 pair of lipsticks. Get a good 10, 12 lipsticks for yourself. That's enough. Get a couple sets of makeup sets for yourself. That's enough. Do not get like 100 sets of makeup. You're wasting money. Is there? Obviously. I'm probably going to buy my own laptop, obviously. So me and Vijay will go to Best Buy and we'll buy our, our, our laptops. I'll get a MacBook. The best MacBook there is I'll get for myself. The MacBook is the best computer, right? I'll get a MacBook for myself, a top high-end MacBook, like a two thousand dollar MacBook. I'll get for myself. You just can get her Mac, her, 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 her laptop too. She'll probably get a MacBook too, or like a high-end thousand dollar laptop. Because we're gonna need those laptops for the. Uh, we're gonna need the two laptops for what? For for taking our notes for Zanus. We're gonna be writing the notes on our laptop, obviously. We could write it on a notebook, but it's better to write it on on on, on, on a computer that way it's more organized. Peter Jackson and Mel Gibson can take their notes on the computer if they want, but it's more time consuming. I recommend you take it like take it on a notebook. Peter, you can either take your notes on your laptop, obviously, or you can take your notes on a, on a notebook if you want. Whatever way works best for you. I recommend you take it on a notebook. But well, but my notes for for three volumes in, I'll I will plan it. We'll write it on the computer on my laptop. All the notes. And that's why we need to buy that, obviously. Is that? I'm gonna buy a Chromecast. That way, a Chromecast. That way, I, that way I can watch TV. I can watch YouTube on my on my TV. I can watch YouTube on my on my on my on my, what? On, on my TV. I just connect it to my phone. I can watch uh, uh, YouTube on my TV. Uh, uh, and all that stuff, right? Yeah. That's some of the stuff I want to do with V-Jobs. We also need a laptop. Whenever I plan the four years of... of so once I, I... Once I... I what? I, I, I planned out Skies with George Lucas. I'm what? I'm going to I'm gonna hire the typewriter guy. And we're going to have to plan out the four years of Zane's What we need to do. And George Lucas will walk me through everything. Okay, these are all the stuff we need to buy, Ivan. So I, there's, all, there's a lot of stuff that I did not mention that I need to buy. You know, Ivan, you got to buy this. You got to buy that. Okay. This is what takes place first year. This is what takes place second year, third year, and fourth year. And the guy writes down the four years of Zanus. They, whenever I do the board meetings with the team, I hand them the sheets. They know what calls need to make. They know what they need to do. Everything is, 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 is prepared for them. You have to do that for all your movies. And George will help me with all that. So, Sarah? Does he... He owned his own company, so he obviously knows what stuff I need to get. I, I know everything you have to get. He tells me everything you need to get. You got you to get this. You got to get that. Yeah. I what will be the most work, first year or second year? Um, both, man. Second year, the team's gonna be busy, man, because they got they, the, the, now that we bought all the main stuff. You got to make the calls for all the other stuff. I did not mention. There's a lot of stuff I did not mention. You have to make the calls for. They have to constantly book box meals. They have to constantly pay for the doctors. Um, like 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 what? They're living in there and and all that stuff. It's a lot of work, man. They have to ship everything in Switzerland. They have to book the hotel for, book the facility for training, tackle training theory. It's a lot of work. Gotta, they're gonna be working really hard, obviously. They're, they're gonna be working hard five days a week. They're gonna be working hard, obviously. Is there? Obviously, that means gonna be hard at work five days a week. All year long, from first year and second year, it's so too many calls to make, man. It's crazy. Just uh, the stuff I'm telling you that I have to make the call for is just a small little glimpse of it. You look, Peter's like, Ivan, this, this, this is nothing. They have to make calls for a lot of things that I, that you did not mention. Yeah, a lot of things that I did not mention. They have to make the call. For, they have to make the calls for the makeup stuff, all the stuff for makeup, obviously. Making all the calls for all those costumes, the extras, the, the, the leftover costumes, right? Once, once, once the teams, once the, the groups reach their limit, you have to call a company rent or buy all the costumes. That's a lot of work, man. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, what? You gotta make those calls, man. A lot of work, man. 
They have to put the hundred. They have to put the one hundred eighty dollars. Sorry, never mind. No, no, they don't have to. Yeah. And in Vancouver, I'm going to be going clubbing with VJ. Hey, VJ, let's check out a few clubs I'm saying. I want to check out nice restaurants with her, and I want to go to an event. So, chances are there will be events in uh, in Vancouver. I'm going to be checking out events with VJ again, and you're going to see all that training online. It's going to be crazy. You see me with VJ, me and her are training online. Something crazy. Something crazy. Yeah, man. He's trying with me, yeah. It's only top notch. I'll be cool to talk about this. Because I always talk about Zane. It's getting a bit repetitive, right? But I mean. Yeah. And once I find Scarces with George Lucas, I will take my, my eight, nine month vacation. Nine, ten month vacation. I'll take my, my eight, nine month vacation. 10 month vacation, whatever it is. I want to travel to Switzerland, Dubai, and uh, Japan. And BJ has her own bucket list on too, where she wants to go. And when I will choose another, we'll choose another country after that. I don't know what other country I want to visit after that. I'm, I'll think about it. BJ has her own country she wants to visit. I even I want to visit Australia. Okay, well, what Australia? You know, what I'm saying? I want to go to. I want to go. I might check out Egypt. I want to go scuba diving in the Red Sea in Egypt, obviously. That's probably my bucket list. I might check out Egypt after those three countries. So I check out my three countries. VJ checks out her three countries. And I check out my three. My I, I pick one country. VJ picks another country. Yeah, let's go to Egypt. I want to check out Egypt. I want to stay in, uh, in, the, night, in the best hotels in Egypt. I want to go scuba dive in the Red Sea. I also want to visit Israel. Israel, I heard, is beautiful. I want to check out Israel... You know what I'm saying? Go on a boat cruise in the Sea of Galilee. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want, I want, to, I want to go to Israel too. Yeah, I have, I have all part of my bucket list. Yeah. Obviously. And once we, go, we we take that vacation, obviously the condo's now built. We do that party in our condo, me and VJ, obviously. And then we what? We celebrate. We're going to be movie stars. And he's like, Ivan, you're being far too generous with Yakis, man. You don't have to pay them that kind of money. That's crazy. They're not worth our rollies, Ivan. You know what I'm saying? Now, Ivan, these actors are not worth our rollies. I'm like, VJ, don't be cheap. You know, it's like, we easy afford to give them easy rollies. But Ivan, they're not worth our rollies, Ivan. Paying a voluntary $4 million is more than enough. That's like $2 million in this bank, Ivan. He doesn't make that at all. That's enough to last him for 10 years. Ivan, if I was in Hollywood, I'd be happy with a $4 million check. You don't have to give him a piece of your rollies, Ivan. You know, VJ will tell me that. You know what I'm saying? BJ, don't be cheap. The easy for three hundred five hundred dollars of the rollies. You make twenty billion dollars off the movie. Is giving eighty million dollars of our money to the actors going to hurt us? Why? Well, that's eighty million is a lot of money. Okay, if that's a, I know it's a lot of money, but if that bothers you, that we gave away eighty million dollars of our money when we made twenty million dollars, you're obviously a greedy pig, and you're becoming like Peter Jackson. Do not get the Peter Jackson syndrome, BJ. I don't want you to be like Peter Jackson. Peter Jackson's so greedy; he wants every cent of the dollar. Even 100K is too much for him to give away. I don't want you to get the, the Peter Jackson, the, the greedy Peter Jackson syndrome, EJ. $80 million is not going to hurt us if we make $20 million on the movie. Which we probably will make around that range. I don't know, 20 million bucks. But before I said $70 billion, that's highly unlikely. Chances are I'll, I'll make like 20 billion bucks off my movie around there. And another maybe five, seven billion dollars off the merch. And Amazon makes like 10, 12 billion or something like that. $13 billion. It's entire. If we make twenty five billion bucks off the movie merch, is ninety million dollars going to the actors going to hurt us, VJ? No, Ivan, it won't. It will, Ivan. That's Ivan. Eighty million dollars is a lot of money. We do a lot of things with that money, like VJ. So we're making twenty billion dollars. You're making a big deal over eighty million dollars, VJ. Come on, don't be cheap. Do not be. Do not become like Peter Jackson, VJ. I don't want you to be like Peter Jackson. He's greedy. He wants every cent of the dollar. Do not become Peter Jackson, VJ. Do not get the greedy Peter Jackson syndrome, please. Ivan, you're far too nice, man. Like, I would ne Ivan, like, I would never give the actors a piece of my rollies, Ivan. Just pay them the fuck. Sorry, it's enough money, Ivan. I'm saying, like, VJ, you want a company to be better in Hollywood, pay them more money. 
That way, if Long Jose, John Boyega, Carl Urban, they all brag how much better my company is in Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? They're all going to brag, yeah, man, I this company bulls out of the water. I signed a massive deal. Like an 11 million, 14, 50 million dollar deal, 18 million dollar deal, 26 million dollar deal. I made my millions. I made a lot of money off the game. He spoiled me with a, with, 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 with a wall of parties and his yacht and condo, a luxury buffet. I can drink milkshake. Um, I flew on his like 300 million dollar advanced jet. I saw his nice property. I was featured on his nice ad shoots. And on, on Sky Source News Magazine, digital ads. His company's brand in Hollywood. Yeah, they're going to brag how much our company's in Hollywood. Because our company is the biggest from Brandy Aaron's in the industry, you would, the actors would expect higher pay. Pay them more money on average, right? Higher pay on average than what Hollywood pays. And what I'm doing, yeah. Zara? Now I can talk about Zayn's. I, I, I babble on about the VJ topic a lot, right? VJ, please do not get the greedy Peter Jackson syndrome, man. Because my biggest fear is that VJ might become like Peter. He, she might become like, I don't know. VJ might become a. I might sense VJ might become a. She might get the, 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 the Peter Jackson syndrome. Please, VJ, do not get the Peter Jackson syndrome. He's greedy. Peter's a greedy pig. He took two $50 million all to himself. When he made Lord of the Rings, and those actors got nothing, when he could have easily given them like five hundred gave him the money. I want to be said this. He wants to send the dollar, obviously. Do not become greedy like Peter VJ. Eighty million is nothing if you make twenty billion dollars for the movie. It's nothing, VJ. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing in the sense that it does not it does it does not affect you at all. That's my point. It's a lot of money, obviously, eighty million dollars. But if you make twenty million dollars, it does not it, eighty million dollars will not affect you because you still have you're still making tens of billions. In your bank, it's not affecting you, Sam Sarah. But if you're making a big deal out of that eighty million dollars, you're obviously a greedy animal like Peter Jackson, and you're getting the Peter Jackson syndrome, VJ. You're getting really greedy. Don't be. You're getting cheap and greedy. I am greedy, but I'm not cheap. I'm greedy and generous. I'm not greedy and stupid. I'm not going to give John Megan all of like twenty five million dollars in movies. No. Now I'm being greedy and stupid, but I'm not cheap. Whereby I'm not going to. They don't get a dime off my royalties. I'm nice enough to give you a small tiny piece of the pie. That way they work. They work harder for us, VJ. And they brag how much better Sky Source is in Hollywood. As Hollywood is cheap compared to my company. Yes, Hollywood pays a lot of money. They get their millions. But how it works in Hollywood is only the stars get the dough. And the other ones get, get, get the leftovers. The peanut leftovers. That's how it works in Hollywood. Yeah. You want to make the dough work in Hollywood, you got to what? You got to be the star or the supporting character of a movie or a television show if you want to make the dough. If you're a reoccurring character or a guest character, you're not going to make much money, man. Or a minor character, you're not going to make much money in Hollywood. That's why everyone aims for that, for that star role or supporting role in a television show or movie. That's where you make your money. But every actor's goal is to be an A.S. actor. But I told you, it's not easy to be an A.S. actor. Because you're competing with all, all, all the actors in Hollywood. And the A.S. actors don't make the market. Yeah, it's a very competitive Hollywood industry, obviously. Was there? For Peter, I'll pay him eighty-five million base for the uh, for Zanus. Did I talk about Did I talk about Mel or did I talk about Peter earlier? I talked about Peter. Peter, I'll pay him eighty-five million base, and I'll give him four fifty million dollars of the Sky Source profits. So the seventy-two percent that we, me and VJ made, Peter takes four fifty million dollars of that of that pie. Now, and if he's really greedy, I can give him $50 million of the merch royalties that me and VJ make, obviously. The merch royalty profits that me and VJ made. He gets $50 million of that. I what about $100 of million of that I And I'm like, no, Peter, you're fucking greedy. Five fifty million deal is good enough. That's like five seventy five in New Zealand money. You sign almost a, a $600 million deal. That's good enough. You're being greedy, Peter. I'm not paying any more money. It's, it's enough. You're going to walk away with, like, I don't know, $315 like million, $18 million in your bank after taxes. It's a massive deal. But he wants more. He wants like three fifty, four hundred million in his bank because he's greedy, obviously. And Mel, I'll give him one seventy million dollars of the Sky Source film pro from the Sky Source film profits, and a fifty six million base salary. And if he's greedy, I can give him fifteen million dollars of the Sky Source merch, Sky Source merch profits. Fifteen million bucks is like I what about forty? I'm like no, Mel, man. I'm fifty million dollars is a good deal. This is how much you make for your base in Hollywood. It's a good fucking deal. Sign you mail to like a two forty million dollar deal. You can sign Peter to like a five fifty million dollar deal. So Peter's making double more than double what Mel's making because he's bigger than him. But you sign those guys to two math to some massive deals, obviously. 
when they signed the contracts, I'll, I'll, I'll fly in and get them all. I'm going to ask Mel, like, hey, is Guillermo Toro a good candidate for your assistant director? Yeah, Ivan, sign him on board. Okay, I'll sign Guillermo Toro the day I sign you. I'll sign Barry Osborne. I'll sign, I'll have another assistant. You can have your wife, Mel, be involved. You can have her be the producer if you want. No, no, his, his girlfriend is not, is not, is not a movie person. Never mind. Who's the best producer, assistant producer to help my Saturday team? He tells me the name, and I hire the assistant producer to help to, 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 to help to what? To help uh, to help to help Barry Oswald get a mentor and, and Mel. You sign those four guys, and you take them all to Nigeria. So let's say I choose Mel Gibson or Peter. You don't hate Peter. I'll fly Mel into Vancouver, and he will sign his contract. His massive deal. You're gonna see in the credits, fifty-six million base. You don't have to write ten more book. Pe- Pre-production mode, just say 56 million base. It's one seven million dollars from the profit of the, of the Sky Source profits. Sky Source film profits. That's, that's, that's all you have to say. 50 million of the merch prof, merchandise profits. And that's that's Mel Gibson's deal. You're gonna see in the documentary the credits. You know how Shark Tank? You see the credits? Yeah, holy shit, Mel signed a massive deal. You know, so all the director's salary and crewman and actor salary are made public when you see the documentary. I'm not going to release their salaries on my website. No, I'm going to keep it private. But you guys will find out how much they made when you watch the doc. And you're going to see how much they all made. They all signed massive deals. Look at that amazing document. You get this music. This is how much I'm going to pay you, Mel. You get this music. Da, 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 you know, this, this, you know how Shark can get the music? Yeah. And I signed Mel. Mel signs his contract. It's a deal, Ivan. I signed him old Toro. I signed Barry Osmond. I signed the other guy or woman. And after you sign, we take him all the way. Mel Gibson's joining for joy. He's happy. He's a chosen director. Peter's all sad because I didn't choose him. You know what I'm saying? And Mel's all excited for the movie. I mean, I can't wait for your movie, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm excited for this movie. You know what I'm saying? You take him out to a nice dinner. And you part it up with your condo for like five and a half hours. And while, and once you see me trending with Mel... And you don't see Peter, that means, yeah, I even chose Mel for Peter. You'll know I chose Mel for Peter. And the next couple of days or so, you're going to get this announcement. Um, Mel Gibson is the chosen director of, for, for Zanus. Yeah, Mel Toro is the assistant director for Zanus. And you get the news of Barry Osborne, the assistant producer. Yeah, Mel Toro, the assistant producer. You get this news. Something cool on my Sky Source website. Sky Source section. Sky Source news website. Something cool. Sky Store's news section. You got this news. And a couple of weeks into it, I'm going to have higher interviews to interview Mel Gibson, Guillermo del Toro, Barry Ozone, my team, me, VJ, and the interviews are all featured on the website. So you have the news on Sky Store's news website, and you have the interviews that get constantly get featured. They're, they're going to interview us quite a few times during the four years, and all the interviews are going to be there for you guys to read. That's going to be amazing. And you get the ad shoot picture. That's going to be top notch, yeah. Mel Gibson's like, Ivan, your company's top notch. I had a blast being featured on your attitudes, Ivan. High end, like photography equipment and studio, everything, everything's top notch, yeah. Mel, you know, Mel, you're gonna see the documentary filming behind the scenes of that, the, the shoots, the photo shoots, it's something amazing, yeah. Obviously. Mel Gibson's Ivan star director. You see him featured on, on, on the magazine ad shoots, on the Sky Sister News website. You see him featured with uh, the, the billboard from my building and, and around Vancouver and around my website with the my 17 and all of them were boss. I am your boss. Yeah, I'm a fucking boss, man. He's like, your company's top notch, Ivan. And Mel Gibson's like, yeah, your company's top notch. You're having a blast, man. Yeah. And once they part up your car for five and a half hours, have your team make the call for, I don't know, 20 balls of liquor. That's enough for 13 people. 20 balls of liquor. Everyone gets drunk. Buy 13 Cuban cigars. We have a Cuban cigar. We give a toast. Everyone gets drunk. We have a good time at the party. And once it's like 12 o'clock, um, Mel, have a limo driver take Mel, get a little tour, because they'll be drunk, and like, and Barry Oz and all of them, to, to the what? So to, I'm also going to sign a console artist on the same day, too. I'm going to, I'm going to fly in, uh, Alan Lee and John Howe. I'm going to ask Mel, Mel, what do you think of John Howe and Alan Lee? They worked on all the other Yeah, I haven't signed those guys. They're probably the best people. Yeah, they, 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 they did drawings for the illustrations for the Lord of the Rings books. And the, the concerts for the movie, they're the best people to do Xanus. I'll hire Alan Lee and John Howe, the one who drew for Pennywise and Clown, to, 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 to do concert artwork. Obviously. Since there. Hire three concerts, that's enough. That's enough for concerts. 
And if Mel Gibson knows one guy from past surprise, you can, I can bring one guy over and work with those guys if you want. Hire four if you want. Or you get the work done faster. But I'm not hiring any more than four men. Three to four is enough for the concert artists. Because they're going to be... They're, it's a lot. It's, a lot it's, it's more than enough, honestly. Yeah, so the, 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 little, the little drag will take all those guys after the party to their hotel. They can sleep it off in the hotel. My team will book their hotel... They'll all be staying in suites, one thousand dollar night suites at luxury hotels, nine hundred, eight hundred, one thousand dollar night suites. Will be staying in all those guys, and they can sleep it off in the uh, in the hotel. The next day, we do the creative board meetings and discuss the movie, what you want the world to look like. I show them the Chromecast pictures. I'm thinking, of, oh my god, that's a beautiful world, Ivan. Yeah, the characters. What do you want the characters to look like? I show them those pictures of Pennywise the clown, the devil being Annabelle, the boss orc, that. That picture I showed you in that video that I made like two months ago, and that demonic being, I showed them all those pictures of what they know, what, what, uh, what, what, what they're doing. I want Eretz to them three times scarier than these beings. I right, you want Eretz to three times scarier than these pictures here, yes. I want Ephesus to three times scarier than this devil being animal here, and that boss of one of the rings. I right, that's too scary, looking at demons. Yes, I want Eretz to them to be demons. Mel's like, yes, guys, I want them to be demons too, because he's into that horse stuff. Yeah, guys, I want Eretz to be the most horrific being in movie history. Yeah, I want him to be the devil himself that we tell a powerful story I know I'm doing. That's why I think Mel might be better for the job. Because Mel will be all for rated R, like, devil Eretz. Whereas Peter might push for, like, an Azar looking Eretz. Because he's into PG-13. And when I show them that world, like, yeah, I'm thinking of a world like this, that Chromecast picture. John Favreau, if I hire him, he might tell me, oh, I have not, it kind of has that Lion King feel. Yeah, that Lion King feel. Yeah. You have the trees, the sunset. And the veil, the, the mist veils the self, obviously. Yeah, I have now, world looks very beautiful, but it looks, it looks more natural. Yes, I want the world to look very amazing, but it looks more natural. So it looks very amazing because of the CGI effects, visual effects, obviously. But it also looks a bit more natural because I, I built big sets. That's why we're looking at an amazing world, better than Pandora. It's a beautiful world, man. Yeah, the sunset in the south, the sunset in the north. So there's two suns, pretty much. There's a sun in the south, and there's a sun in the north. There's two suns. I don't. I, I never. I, I don't. I don't mention the book that there's two suns, but if you read it carefully, the sun sets faster in the in in in, 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 in the south, but it moves slower in the north because the, the the south is cursed. So the south it gets darker faster than the than the north, obviously, because the south is cursed cursed terrain, whereas the north is holy terrain. It's a holy uh, holy land, holy area. The south is cursed, and Mel's like, yeah, I'm thinking something like hell, Ivan. Yeah, by hell, if you mean like it looks cursed, I agree with you. But I don't want it looking too too cursed. It has, it also has beauty to self Mel. Like this picture here, okay, I was just saying, yeah, the way he knows, the way Mel Gibson knows him, Sarah. And you discuss that with Mel and all the cons are. That's what they know. So I'm kind of here.